Hi, Ghost Recaps here, today we will be going through an sci-fi, horror movie from 2011. Named, The Thing. There will be spoilers ahead in this video, so chill out and enjoy. In Antarctica in 1982, three researchers from Norway are following a signal in the snow cat in a large mountain snow field. At first, it seems that everything is going according to plan, because they are joking and talking with each other. They decide to stop the vehicle to investigate, but soon after stopping, the ice on which they were standing begins to fall with a group of scientists, and Snow Cat falls into a crevasse, where she is trapped. Looking down into the crevice from Snow Cat's headlights, they see a spaceship. In the next scene, Dr. Halverson, a Norwegian scientist, meets with Kate Lloyd, an American paleontologist, and tells her that they have discovered a structure and an organism and that he is looking for a skilled paleontologist to assist in investigating the strange structure. Despite being vulnerable, Kate agrees to join their team, as she too is curious about the strange structure found in the area. Kate and Adam take a helicopter operated by Americans Carter and Derek to the Norwegian outpost in Antarctica. One of the pilots warns them to be careful as a storm is approaching. They go to the camp and meet other Norwegians, including camp leader Edvard and Lars, a mechanic. Without losing much time, they immediately get into the vehicle and depart towards the area where they were planning to check. Leading geologists take them inside the ice cave and show them the high-tech, advanced civilization that was oddly found inside. They believe that this spacecraft has been buried under this ice for the last 100,000 years. At some distance from the ship, they show Kate a strange-looking creature encased in ice, which could possibly be the pilot of the alien ship. Back at the camp, they discuss removing the creature. The next day, the creature is taken out and placed back in a wooden room at the camp. Dr. Halverson tells the team that he wants to take a tissue sample first, which Kate objects to because they need to sterilize and take other safety precautions. He has been warned not to challenge her in front of others again. They make a hole in the ice, take a sample of the frozen meat of the organism, and put it in a petri dish. Dr. Halverson said after the examination that he had never seen a creature with the high cellular level found in the sample. He reiterated that the world will never be the same after this discovery, and the people who discovered aliens will always be remembered by the whole world. At night, in the recreation room of the camp, the whole team is partying in the joy of discovery. Meanwhile, the snow begins to melt, and Derek goes to check on the alien. Derek sees that the alien is moving and the ice is already melting. Suddenly, the invisible thing jumps out of the ice and jumps from the ceiling. Derek goes back to the recreation room and tells the others that the alien is alive and has escaped. They all go into the room and see the piece of ice that contains the hole that the alien left behind after escaping. Sander instructs the teams to split into two and three and search for the alien. While looking inside the vehicle, they see blood splattered everywhere on the ground. They suspect that this alien creature is violent towards humans, and they begin to worry about its potential dangers not only to them but to the entire world. Two Norwegians, Henrik, and Olav, discover the alien under the cabin. They approach it slowly, using their flashlights to see it. As Heinrich turns to face him, the alien stabs him in the chest with a sharp tongue that appears to be a part of his body, causing splashes of blood on Olav's face. At the same time, the alien creature pulls and swallows Henrik's body. Olav screams and asks for help. He then informs the other members of the group that the alien has attacked Henrik. The gunmen use their pistols to shoot at the alien, however, the bullets have little or no effect on the alien, so in a last-ditch attempt to kill the evil alien, the men throw gasoline on him and set him on fire, killing him instantly. It was only after this incident that scientists realized that the alien could only be destroyed by burning. The group returns inside in a state of confusion. Olav is undergoing treatment and seems quite unwell and needs medical care, so Carter informs the group that he will return to civilization in the morning. But Dr. Halverson stressed that it is their responsibility as researchers to study the alien remains to learn more about alien. No matter how dangerous the alien looks, scientists still need to study it. Immediately after the conversation, Dr. Halverson goes to the laboratory to examine the remains of alien and Henrik. While examining the bones, Kate noticed that her skin looked almost brand new. Kate then pulls out a piece of metal and asks what it is. Henrik's co-workers told him that a titanium bar was placed in Henrik's arm to stabilize the fracture. But the strangest thing was that it had out of his hands. Later, Kate and Adam look at the cells of the organism under the microscope. The cells are not only still alive, but they are also swallowing and mimicking Heinrich's cells. The next morning, while Carter and Derek were preparing the helicopter, Kate was in the bathroom. She sees something stained with blood on the floor and picks it up with a handkerchief. Four bloodied, silver teeth. Olav and another Norwegian, along with Griggs, Carter, and Derek, board the helicopter, and the four take off. Kate runs to stop them. The pilot noticed that Kate was signaling him to stop. Inside the helicopter, Griggs' face is cut in half, and he attacks Olav. Kate and Dr. Halverson watch as the helicopter goes out of control, 
crashing into the back of the mountain. When the team is inside again, Kate reveals that she found silver stuffed in the bathroom. She tells them about replicating cells, and their theory is that the alien organism is capable of replicating any organism perfectly. However, it cannot mimic inorganic materials such as metal teeth and Heinrich's metal plate, therefore rejecting them. However, no one believes him, and they decide to send some of the team members to a nearby Russian camp to ask for help. Juliet stays behind with Kate and tells her that she saw Colin, another member of the team, bring a cloth from the bathroom. Kate tells him they have to stop the team from leaving, and Juliet says she knows where the snow cat's keys are. They walk into a room, and as Kate searches for the keys in the drawer, she hears a strange sound from behind. Juliet tries to attack what is now an alien, but Kate runs out of the room. Kate locks the door to the hallway, and Adam and Lars arrive. Lars has a flamethrower pack. Lars burns Juliet and the other Norwegians with fire. After the event, it turned out that Kate's basic theory was accurate. The foreigner is in their midst, and they must be vigilant to fight him. It is like a virus that can be in any one of the bodies of the rest of the members. The team's strategy is to get rid of it. They will analyze each scientist's blood sample to determine who will react strangely. Lars shows Kate the stash of hand grenades, and as they walk back, they see two men approaching from a distance. These are Derek and Carter. Everyone thinks that they must be replicas of aliens, because they believe that there is no possibility of human survival in an accident. Ultimately, their resolution is to lock them in a room until the blood test samples are ready. The same night someone burns down the lab with all the blood samples, the team starts accusing each other, and Kate says she knows another test. She takes a torch and tells Lars to open his mouth. He saw that there was metal in his teeth. She explains to the team that the alien creatures will not be fillers in the replicas. All but Dr. Halverson, Edward, Colin, and Adam have been removed as suspects, with their teeth not filled. The four are held at gunpoint while Kate asks Lars to capture Derek and Carter. Lars and another Norwegian, Jonas, go to the building to catch Derek and Carter, but they are not there. They have escaped through a hole in the floor. Lars follows them into a building and is suddenly pulled inside. Jonas goes back to the others and tells them that Carter and Derek have killed Lars. Carter and Derek arrive at the building, and they confront Petter. Edward yells at Pater to kill Carter and Derek. Before Pater could burn them with his flamethrower, Derek shot Pater in the head, but the bullet also hit the flamethrower tank, and the gas leaked out. The gas reaches the flame at the tip of the flamethrower, and an explosion occurs. Edward was seriously injured in the explosion and fell down. He is picked up and brought to a room. As soon as he enters the room, Edward's limbs suddenly detach from his body and turn into small crab-like creatures. One of these objects then comes to Jonas and sticks to his face, after which Edward, the creature, develops a tentacle that attacks Derek and Adam, seriously injuring them. Kate and Carter try to turn on the flamethrower, but are unable to do so due to air being trapped in the main fuel line. Edward, the creature crawls up to Adam and then begins to mix with him, adding their faces. Kate tries to burn the creature with a flamethrower, but he escapes. She returns to the recreation room and sees Jonas being absorbed by the creature, killing them both with a flamethrower. Carter lives with Derek until he dies. Carter walks aside, so Kate burns the dead Derek with a flamethrower. Kate and Carter look for that thing. Meanwhile, Dr. Halverson is hiding behind a table, but the creature finds him and attacks him. Carter and Kate separate, and the creature attacks Carter, but Kate arrives and burns the creature to death. As Dr. Halverson, now infected, flees with a vehicle, Carter tells Kate that let him go, he will die of the cold, but Kate believes that if he reaches humans, millions of lives could be lost. Kate and Carter board the second snow cat and follow Dr. Halverson to the spaceship. The two go inside the spaceship in hopes of saving the world. They walk towards an open hatch in the ship, but the ship activates, and Kate falls through a hole in the ship. Carter enters through the hatch. Kate reaches a point in the ship that resembles an energy source. He then meets the creature and pushes it into a tunnel. As the creature pulls her out of the tunnel, Kate grabs a grenade. She throws a grenade into the creature's mouth, which explodes, destroying her and the ship's energy source. Back at the snow cat, Carter goes inside, but Kate suddenly tells him to wait. Kate notices that Carter's earring is missing, and she suspects that the alien may have gotten inside of her. To make sure, Kate asks Carter to tell her where her lost earring was. When Carter points out the wrong ear, Kate concludes that the alien is inside Carter. Without wasting much time, they killed Carter instantly with a flamethrower. As he burns, Carter lets out an inhuman scream. She climbs on the second snow cat and flees to the Russian camp. In the last scene of the film, a helicopter lands at the camp, the pilot sounds off in search of survivors, and then a gun is fired at him. It is Lars who is left alone and is not infected. Just then, Alaska's Malamute jumps out of a broken window, and Lars tries to shoot the dog. The dog runs away. Lars yells at the helicopter pilot that it's not a dog, 
and the helicopter chases after him. Lars and the pilot chase the dog from the helicopter and shot at it. This is Ghost Recaps Movie Channel, stay safe and enjoy your day.